Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be looking at the Funko Pop bobblehead figure of Luke Skywalker from Star Wars The Force Awakens. So, yeah. Anyways, let's start with the detail. Now, this Luke Skywalker, if you can't tell already, is based off of his appearance from The Force Awakens. So, yeah. And, uh, well, the detail in here is really nicely done. Like, the, the, well, the texture, sorry, the texture on uh, his beard and hair is really nicely sculpted. Especially the back there looks really nice. And his robes, or his robe thing is nicely done. I really like the detail on his metal hand. Looks really cool. So, yeah. And, uh, like Yoda and Kylo Ren, Obi-Wan, I mean, uh, not Obi-Wan. Luke Skywalker here has a stand, obviously. So, yeah. It's pretty similar to Yoda's. If anything, the only real difference is the size and uh, the size of these peg-looking things, but, eh, whatever. But yeah, that's his stand. It's pretty cool. And, of course, as you can see, um, the Star Wars logo, or the Star Wars title here, is very uh, reflective, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, whatever. But yeah, that's the stand. It's a pretty cool stand. So, so yeah. Detail in here is really nicely done. And paint job, same thing. Paint job's really nicely done. His robe is this uh, um, dirty white or tan color. His, um, his robotic hand is, you know, this silver metallic color, which looks really nice. His hair and beard is a combination or like it has some areas of a uh, gray in some areas being a, a light brown which looks pretty cool his eyebrows are gray and his eyes are black but that's pretty typical or standard or whatever it's very common for pop figures and pop bobbleheads to have black eyes but yeah and of course, as you can see, the stand is black, which is cool. Black's my favorite color. So yeah, fucking love the color black. It's awesome. My most favorite color of all time. But yeah, that's pretty much it for paint job. Paint job is really nice on this figure. In articulation, being a bobblehead pop figure, he has only one, and that is obviously the head. So, yeah. So, yeah, just one. And that's fine with me. So, yeah, one point for articulation, the bobbling head. And last but not least, rarity. Like I've said many times before, I personally think this... Well, like I've said before, I think these pop figures are really common. And also, like I've said before, if you can't find this um, on... Well, if you can't find this pop figure at your local toy store or your local store in general or whatever I advise you look well I advise you uh, search for him on eBay or Amazon or whatever store you're more comfortable browsing through but yeah well in the end I would have to assume uh, Luke Skywalker here is fairly common so yeah well that's pretty much it for this review um, the detail and paint job is really nicely done. He has the obvious one point of articulation, being his bobbling head, you know. In rarity, I would have to assume this guy's fairly common for the most part. So, yeah. In the end, um, I, had, I have to give this figure a 5 out of 5. I see no real flaws, really. I mean, well, it's not one of my most favorite... Like, it's not my most favorite bobblehead figure, but I don't see any real flaws with it or mistakes. So, yeah. And don't take it the wrong way or anything. I actually like this, you know, bobblehead figure. Well, like, I'm glad I have it. So, yeah. It's just a, it's just a nice uh, bobblehead figure. Not my most favorite, but it is pretty nice. Pretty decent bobblehead figure. So, yeah. Do I recommend him? Absolutely. He'll go, well, he'll be a great addition to your Star Wars collection. So, 
yeah yeah that's pretty much it for this review um, I hope you enjoyed this review if you have give it a like subscribe and if you want to leave a comment so yeah once again that score is five out of five and I'll see you guys in the next review video